The two pots. Two pots, one of brass and the other of clay, stood together on the hearthstone. One day the brass pot proposed to the earthen pot that they go out into the world together. But the earthen pot excused himself, saying that it would be wiser for him to stay in the corner by the fire. It would take so little to break me, he said. You know how fragile I am. The least shock is sure to shatter me. Don't let that keep you at home, urged the brass pot. I shall take very good care of you. If we should happen to meet anything hard, I will step between and save you. So the earthen pot at last consented, and the two sat out side by side, jolting along on three stubby legs first to this side, then to that, and bumping into each other at every step. The earthen pot could not survive that sort of companionship very long. They had not gone ten paces before the earthen pot cracked, and at the next jolt he flew into a thousand pieces. The Goose and the Golden Egg There was once a countryman who possessed the most wonderful goose you can imagine, for every day when he visited the nest, the goose had laid a beautiful, glittering, golden egg. The countryman took the eggs to market and soon began to get rich. But it was not long before he grew impatient with the goose, because she gave him only a single golden egg a day. He was not getting rich fast enough. Then one day, after he had finished counting his money, the idea came to him that he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and cutting it open. But when the deed was done, not a single golden egg did he find, and his precious goose was dead. The Fighting Bulls and the Frog Two bulls were fighting furiously in a field, at one side of which was a marsh. An old frog living in the marsh trembled as he watched the fierce battle. What are you afraid of? asked a young frog. Do you not see, replied the old frog, that the bull who was beaten will be driven away from the good forage up there to the reeds of this marsh, and we shall all be trampled into the mud? It turned out as the frog had said. The beaten bull was driven to the marsh, where his great hoofs crushed the frogs to death. 